karibu pasi asante sana right now we, we we know this reverend we know this so so we're trying to figure out uh, do we go with the reverend man he looks good, good. I, I need the duncan you need to put him kato like like the key like, but like, yeah. he, he, he set a this fund you? a long time ago Yes. Alianza in fact, it, it looks that, so that's good. one of the things <laughs> don't look around people can see. That's one of the things that that stand out about him. Yes. Uh, you, you, he and also has and also his suits. Yes. Man, you need to let us know your plug because man. Hey. Bona si fiwe tena sana. Um <laughs> have we just shocked you? I'm sorry. This is how we roll. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I listen to you guys. Yeah, ah, Santi. So Rev, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um Tony Kema Yeah. Born again. Mm-hmm. Uh, married to Karo Kema mm-hmm. and uh, we've been married for 23 years now. Wow. Wow. We have three That's boys. Tough. Right. Yeah. TJ, Toria and Thayo. TJ mm-hmm. is 20, mm-hmm. Toria is turning 18 mm-hmm. and Thayo is 8. Wow. Um for the last 12 years I've mm-hmm. been the lead pastor at uh, River of God Church, mm-hmm. which is a Kenya Assemblies of God congregation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um yeah and uh, uh what else um what are some zile matatu za ROG ni zile No are those your matatus they belong to members of our church So oh. there's a group of people in River of God Church the directors of ROG Sako mm. are members and active members of uh, River of God wow. so there's a story Hi-ya. behind it Hi-ya. very nice Duncan thank you for spotting there's this an, one there's yeah. an amazing story behind it. oh hallelujah Th- do we have time for that story <laughs> later <laughs> okay later yeah, yes Yes. So so Pasi we just want to say welcome and uh man let me tell you also uh the, the watu here at Pearl are grateful that you've shown up. Now we we've seen you're a fiery fiery man of God. Mm-hmm. But when it comes down to talking straight it, it, it there's one straighter rev that I know mm-hmm. apart from the others and you're one of them. Shoots you are. from the hip. Yeah, shoots from the hip mm-hmm. doesn't spare nobody takes mm-hmm. no prisoners. Right. Uh but uh, as as you see, as you sit here we we had a discussion about character development. Right. And it's Th- people talk about it so loosely mm-hmm. and and uh, through character development uh you, you have a fallout with a friend i'm going through character development you fall out with your, your business goes down yes. any character development too m- maybe we need to check in a little bit this morning right. and find out from you what would entail character mm-hmm. development tunangalia right. nini i think number one, it is important to remember that you have a responsibility in terms of the kind of person you are all right mm-hmm. or the kind of person you want to be mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in the days that we're living on social media, right. um, there are people who will present themselves as a madman. <laughs> <laughs> What are you or saying? ridiculous. Mm. Yes, okay. For likes. Yeah. For airtime on uh, cause uh, positive or mm. negative mm-hmm. uh, media time is still media time. Yes, yes, yes. You're out there. Correct. But in terms of uh, good character. Okay. I think it's important at this point to say that you have a responsibility in terms of the person that you are. Mm. Right now currently. Yes, okay. you you have a responsibility to grow yourself. Right. Uh in whatever direction. Okay. Um so you can read. Mm-hmm. You can have people hold you accountable. Mm-hmm. Um because you on your own there are certain things that you need feedback. Mm-hmm. And as we move on we'll share testimonies and challenges that that nice. all, most of us have. Mm. All right. Um, because you need people to give you feedback mm-hmm. and i want to say one of the k- key aspects of character development hmm. is feedback feedback because where there's no feedback there's no growth mm-hmm. where there's no feedback there's no growth exactly how do you know whether you're doing well or not okay mm-hmm. and if okay. you go in the right direction or not so you need people who will give you positive feedback right yeah right. or positive criticism mm-hmm. positive criticism okay yeah if you tell someone the truth mm-hmm. yes without love that's malice mm. maybe an example so that we know but it's today it's when danko tells me quelly. i'll tell you pass this said but it's it's the truth so so how does a, yeah. a, 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 a truth without love look like, look like or, or, or sound, sound like? like you know hmm. let, let me um one of the one of the things that people really struggle with mm. yeah. and for me at one point mm. I, i i had a challenge with is um, is breath yes Uh, I had an issue with my teeth. Okay. And when that was sorted out then I had an issue with my acid in my stomach. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so I struggled with breath. I had mints and 
toothbrush and hot everywhere yeah, all around yeah, me. Yeah. But I needed people who would tell me the truth because now here I am, I'm going to ministry mm -hmm. and I'll be talking to people. Mm -hmm. Now, most people will not tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. As in, if you have bad breath, yeah. what <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> tu, but no one is saying. Then when you've gone, hey, <laughs> 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 yes. yeah. So, if in public mm -hmm. you tell someone, hey, mze, kwa ni sugwagi meno. <laughs> That sounds a it's dark true. move, by no, the way. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, no. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But you yeah. could pull somebody aside and say, Hey, Mjama, hey, what's up, Bana? Mm -hmm. Your breath. And mm -hmm. then they explain to you that, you know what? Mm -hmm. If they open for you the back and you see what they go through yeah. and some of the challenges that they have. Mm -hmm. And you see now that's love because you pull them aside and you, you ask them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's like a chick you're hanging out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's true. You've just destroyed that that's girl. True. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But you know, you can hold the girl's hand mm -hmm. or you can ask an our lady, mm -hmm. excuse me, can you tell the chick to, uh -huh. uh, can yeah. you tell the chick, okay, you know, you ask an, a girl to yes. tell another girl another rather than tell, yes. a guy Telling. going to tell this girl, yes. uh, do your zip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 You go yeah. tell the waiter, excuse me, can you go tell that lady mm. her zip is, uh, is down? Because those are human things. Mm. Yes. They make a mistake. Okay. Now, when you tell the truth without love, it's malice. Mm -hmm. Because the objective for you yeah. is not to give that person feedback. Right. right. It's to right. destroy them. Mm. It's to embarrass them. So wow. you're using wow. truth wow. to beat them. Wow. Mm. Mm. And you, it makes you feel nice. Because there are people who... Makes you feel nice? Uh, there are people who feel good when they put others down. And that's not necessarily that's a narcissistic. good thing. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, character development feedback when people, somebody tells you, Maze, yeah, I think you're insensitive. Mm. What you say to that lady was not kind. No. Or that. even ask yourself, when was the last time hmm. somebody rebuked you? Because all of us, we know that we are not perfect. Yes. Yeah, For all yes. have sinned and so fallen short of the glory of God. Right. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But when was the last time someone told you? something about you when was the last time somebody rebuked you right and and, and does it have to hit home for you to know ah yeah this namo is actually for real or, or or can you go and sulk give me five minutes of sulk but i have taken the message yes, how you respond yes you know not necessarily even how you respond but right the question right. here is when was the last time somebody told you mm. the truth I mean, somebody challenged you, mm -hmm. or somebody mm -hmm. told you something about, about you. yourself, mm -hmm. a exactly. trait or a behavior or something. Exactly, because okay. we are not perfect, yes. no, so we, we need feedback. Yes. Right. But when was the last time somebody actually told you the truth mm -hmm. about you? They rebuked you, they corrected you. When was the last time? You know, a friend came yes. and said, "Hey, Maze, here you're not treating your wife well." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way you answered your wife here was not right. Uh -huh. It happens, but it happens. how many times people just they look at you? Mm -hmm. They know what you're doing is not right. right. They don't give you feedback. So you don't know. Or have you met people who are vulgar? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there are people who are just vulgar. Yeah. As in Maze, Joe, whatever, man. Yeah. Anything yeah. goes. You Anything know, goes. Verbal yeah. diarrhea. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you wonder. You don't have friends who can tell you, my guy, and you're here. Unatupambao. Or do your friends fear you too much that oh, they cannot they're not give your friends. you? Those are not friends. But they're not friends. But what so, if, but if 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 you've tried and it's never received well? Yeah. You've tried a, a different approach. This person is yani hajawai apendi kukubali makosa or something. Misawa, mm. but at least you tell them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 And that's what friendship is about. Yes. Yes. But that that's is what, what has true broken. Friendship. That is what has broken many relationships as well. Praise the Lord. <laughs> wow. So if my so, circle of friends yeah. don't call me out, they don't. They're not my true friends. Let me give you a story. Mm. Before I got saved, I struggled with um, things that are not necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, legal. 
Tutik. <laughs> this is this is a judge free zone. Go on, man. Talk yes. about it. Because that's what someone is struggling with right now. So yeah. I, I really struggle. So yeah. when I stopped, I I I, I struggle with alcoholism yeah. and and other vices. Mm. Okay. And at one point, I I when I got saved, I wanted to stop. Yeah. I was going cold turkey. Yeah. Because I just stopped. Uh, so this guy was a camlevy and whatever yeah. else I yeah. used to take. So one of the challenges I had is mm. I used to spit all the time. Okay. Mm. I used to spit all the time because, uh, you know, now the, the taste in my mouth is exactly. different. Yes. Oh. So I used to spit oh, all so the time. Oh, so that's what happens. Mm -hmm. With some people. With some you, people. You don't know how it will react. Okay. With, okay. Okay. Um, so I used to spit quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, people would make fun of me behind <laughs> my back. I'm sorry, but okay. <laughs> but I have a friend of mine, yes. he's called Timo. Yes. Timo is my prayer partner. Hi, Timo. He's, uh, he's yeah. deceased. Oh, he, sorry. He passed away about yeah. a year ago. Oh, yeah. So, Timo, one time we were walking, mm. and I'm in Bible school, mm -hmm. and Timo tells me, Where are you from? 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 Where are You'll be yeah. a public personality. You don't know what God will do for you. You don't know what God... So, d d learn to stop. Think about it. Be conscious, conscious? Yeah. of it. Be cognizant of it. It's a bad habit. It's yeah. a habit. All the yeah. Time. yeah. You need to stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And you know, for the first time, I actually began to pray that God deliver me from this vice. And it's a character issue. Because mm. it reflects on the person. Exactly. And so, I began to work towards it. And nowadays, I don't, I can't even remember the last time I did, but I stopped. Wow. But you see, there were all these other people around me, but no one ever told me, but they would laugh at me. I guess again, you get, maybe there yeah. were people behind my back on, yeah. uh, <laughs> there is a viper. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the game changer here was that you started working on it. Mm, exactly. Yeah. But you see, it's because someone told it to me. Told and it to me. as much as they were angry, mm. But they didn't tell me in public. Mm -hmm. Yes. They pulled me aside and mze yani vile I understood uh, you, for you sure understood. this this is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I, I need to stop. Right. Yeah. What are the things according to you, uh, Rev, that stop people from becoming because of lack of character development? Number one, you get fired. Fired. Yeah. Or you 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 sharp. Yeah. Your work is good, yeah. mm -hmm. but you have a bad attitude. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And no one ever tells you. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you go, you people keep, you know, you get your contracts are never renewed. Mm -hmm. But you don't know why. You do know why. Because people don't tell you the truth. Mzee uko na tabia mbaya. Eh, wewe ongea tu fwa. Au naga gauge. Yeah, true breaky. Yeah. yeah. And it's not sometimes a good thing just the fact that you speak your mind all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there is wisdom to hold back. Yeah. 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 You don't have to be hard. Yeah. Oh. Wewe ongea sana. Ah. You just umepata watu wanabonga hata utaki kujua what they are talking about umeingiza story You're all over the place right mm -hmm. right, yeah. right. So, but, yeah, listen fast that's why you have two years mm -hmm. and that's one really... mouth wow rev I, we, we don't know how character development looks on a person but we need to, to find out are there different types of character development everybody is going through or is it one thing Wah! in my opinion yeah there are two kinds of character development okay mm -hmm. there is conscious mm -hmm. And there is unconscious character development. Oh. What do I mean? Mm -hmm. Conscious is when you go out there and you want to develop yourself. Mm -hmm. So you read a book. Mm. So you want to develop yourself. Yes. Yeah. Stifara, finishing mm -hmm. strong. Mm. Uh, so how do I get there? Okay. Half time. Uh, you get what I'm saying? There are yes. many books so out there. Self help kind of books, exactly yeah. mm -hmm. that, that you can read in mm -hmm. terms of developing yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know. Yes. yes. How to speak? When to speak? how to grow emotional intelligence right mm -hmm. you know, there are certain books that you can you know uh, and people you can listen to yes, yes. <clears throat> that's number one yes number two mm. you can go out and find people who will give you feedback because yeah. if what you're doing is it working or not yes yes, yes. yeah mm -hmm. because if it is not inspected it is not done if it's not inspected it's not done it won't get done true so are there people who are giving you feedback mm. to tell whether mm. you're growing or, or, not. or not? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody you look up to. So they can hold you. 
<coughs> accountable. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. So those are like like two steps that that you can do. You yes. can do. Yeah. Then yeah. there is also the unconscious character development. What is that? La life will throw you a curveball. Proper. Eh. Life will just throw you a curveball. Mm. Humility will come. Maze life ina kupiga. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> You want a lot. You humble yourself. You had a high flying job. You're beating yourself. You're yeah. beating your chest. You're yeah. feeling like you I'm know the what? One. everybody else who is yeah. not here this far mm -hmm. yeah. is because they were not smart. They That's didn't right. work hard. Mm. They didn't take advantage of opportunities. Because mm. you, every time you, you, you lost a job, you got another one. You right. know, mm. life just happened for you. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden in your 40s, eh? Yes. Everything drops down wow. and you can't get a job. You can't drive that fly car you had. Yeah. Those fly suits maze. Mm -hmm. Now you have to move from the leafy suburbs to mm -hmm. to walk a flat down the road somewhere. Yeah. And yeah. you're even struggling to tell people where you live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You are in debt until Yani. You you know now you're trying to live within yeah. before you means exactly. Yeah. And now life humbles you and you realize that it is by the grace of God. Ah. Uh. Eh, hey, humility. Humility is not something you learn in a book. Mm -mm. It's life trains you what humility is. Mm -hmm. This curveball, do you think God threw it? I think there are many times that God will throw it. Right. Why does he do that? Because then we'd have be to be taken through a process of pain, suffering in our own eyes. Because God doesn't use vessels he hasn't broken. Let me give you an example. Jehovah. We're the Duncan. You see, when you have glass, glasses tend to be ornamental. Mm. You have this amazing looking glass. Okay. Vase that yes. you keep in the sitting room. Mm -hmm. You put fruits in it, you put stuff in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's beautiful. Yes. It's, it's, it's it's something to behold. Correct. It's a centerpiece. Correct. Kaule tell you white. Oh, but you should. I smell. Yeah, I smell. And then, yeah, your kids come and break that glass. Yes. Now, to you, broken, it has no value. It mm. seizes the value of that ornament. Seizes, seizes at the point where it breaks. Ah. And okay. you've never seen anyone who takes that piece of glass and says. Mazei glass ilk was so expensive and so nice. I bought it to mm -hmm. in in Spain or in mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. So you'll p keep a, a small piece of that glass to remind you. No, mm -hmm. you sweep everything and throw it away. Correct. With a broken heart. Cor mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. But it's interesting because at that point of brokenness, you are of no value to the whole world. Oh. But your value in God begins at that point. Because a broken vessel, mm -hmm. God will not despise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalms 51. Mm -hmm. A broken heart, spirit, a yeah. broken and a contrite spirit, mm -hmm. the Lord will not despise. Mm -hmm. Because God has no value with things that are whole. Because you are full of yourself. Wow. How do I know I've been broken? You can't. What? How do you know that you're broken? You can't. Ni watu takuambia. Because wuna thani unaendalea to life. Mm. But it's in your interactions that people now start realizing that, you know, this mm -hmm. guy is so different. This guy has changed. Mm. Even the sermons he preaches or mm. the way he treats people. Right. Mm. When you go to him and, and you're between a rock and a hard place, right. he will listen to you because of where he has come from. I don't mm. know if, I, and I know there's someone who's listening right now, yes. mm. where you have a boss from hell. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> true, true. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Number one, they will never listen to you. Yep. Yeah. Because to them, they are superhuman. They are mm. sharp, they are brilliant, mm -hmm. and they assume everybody else is Jinga. Oh. Mm. They, they have no grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They drive people yeah. to the wall because they feel like, you know, the more they drive you, the they're just a slave driver. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they are, they are not human uh -huh. because to them, they are superhuman. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, a guy like that is very hard to explain to when you're going through a difficult time. Mm. That's true. So I can imagine. I want you to imagine mm. you have a sickly child, and your house girl is giving you a hard time, and then you have a boss like that. Uta fear to That's the way, true. This is true. Yeah, as in it's not your doing. doing. Mm. No, it's not. But yeah, but as you're going through this situation with a horrible boss, yeah, 
from hell. Yeah. You have house girls who are feeling nothing for you. They wake up in the morning. It's uh -huh. the day you're supposed to go and give a report. So they come up and say, Naenda. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking at them Naenda. and you start seeing horns grow on their head. As in, <laughs> this is how the devil looks like. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And then mm -hmm. your husband is also feeling nothing because mm -hmm. even him is under pressure. Yeah. Now, transpolate that five years down the road when you are the one head of department. Mm, Now, yeah. the Lord was taking you through that, that situation. Yes, so that. So that the day you become a boss, you become the department leader. Yes. You will be human. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. when another lady comes and says, Maze, my house just left, you will say, you know what? Work from home. I'll give you that day and I won't even charge it to you. Yeah. You sort it out. Because you understand. Because you've been there. Because you've been there. It has hurt and you know how it feels. So that's broken. Now, the Lord broke you so that you shall be a blessing to another. Wow. Now that you didn't ask for. You didn't sign up for. D do you get a warning before the break? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. no. You yeah. see, mm. Mm. the Lord calls whoever he wants to call. Right. You don't call yourself. Mm. The Lord okay, chooses. Okay, this is true. Yeah, it's the Lord who chooses. I will <laughs> use this one and yeah. I will use this one and I will use this one. But sometimes in a kwanga ngumu pasi. Tell him. Maze kulan the hard way. Always maze. You see, the, you didn't tell the Lord choose me or call me. <laughs> But the Lord chooses whoever he, he wants. Pleases. He's yeah. God. Yeah. Yes. He's sovereign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he wants to use Danko. Right. So life happens for you, Bana. So that I can be a blessing to those that are around Umeenda, me. Ukabaigari, ukagongwa. Yeah. So for like 20 years of your life, you can't even show what... You have ever done Worked with your for, money. Yes. It looks like every decision you make mm -hmm. is wrong. Yeah. It keeps costing you. Yes. Maze, you, you do go. your best There to get go. a good mechanic. Uh -huh. una mm. una get landi, una ingia kwa hao, oh. landi na hey. from hell. Mm. Hey. Kuna flood, una lose furniture. Yep. Maze, umepua hivi jo. Ile siku tu, ulisa hao kulipa insurance, gari mm -hmm. kagongwa. Mm -hmm. Yani, maze, mbaka unauliza God. Maze, God, nilikufanya nini? Mm -hmm. Nilikufanya, mm. what did I ever do? Yes. And I guess that's why some of these preachers who teach about ancestral curses and breaking them, they're yeah. in big business. Hmm. Ah. How, how, yes. how, because they, what they do you mean? advantage of that situation. Right? Exactly. They are taking advantage of this person's emotions. Oh. That yeah. I can stop yeah. this. Let mm. me tell you something. <coughs> how do you stop that which the Lord is doing in you? The yeah. Lord ah. has a plan for you yes. that yeah. is greater than you mm. correct eh. yes. correct Greater your scars you. will count mm. now joseph he didn't pick himself mm -hmm. he didn't mm -mm. there were 11 brothers mm -hmm. i mean there were 12 bra by that time there were 11 mm. yes because benjamin had not been born. been born correct he didn't choose for his father to make for him that coat no he didn't mm -mm. he didn't exactly His father just loved him for whatever the reason. He was not there when his father fell in love with, with Rachel. I mean, with Rebecca. Mm -hmm. It is not his fault that he was Rebecca's son. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So here he's born. There are ten other boys. The father loves him. He didn't choose. He didn't tell Jacob, "Love me." Mm -mm. He was just loved, Mazi. Mm. Then his father makes this jacket and he gives him to him. Yes. He didn't ask for it. Mm. That jacket was the the bane of his existence. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Heriata angi mpatia. Juyo jacket sasa ndi leta wivu, Mazi. Yes. And yes. let me tell you something, Mazi. Yeah, yeah. Jealousy is the last step before you become a full-blown witch. Makombio <laughs> kweli. <laughs> wivu. Yes. If What? you're struggling with <laughs> jealousy, jealousy. Mm. Funga, funga virago when the katoloni, uh, funga yes. na uombe. I'm out of the house. Next week, mm. you can be a witch. <laughs> I'm telling you, it can take you south. So anyway, <laughs> yes. Joseph, I made a coat that he didn't even care about. Correct. He didn't ask for it. Correct. It wasn't Christmas. Correct. Jesus has not been born. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. mm. But because the father loved this boy so much, right. because he loved his mother. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I come back here, a coat of many colors. Yeah. Everybody else was so jealous. Yeah. So he's trying to fit in with his brothers. Mm. These are his siblings, yeah. man. Come on, yeah. yeah. So the father sends and says, go check where these guys are. Mm. The father doesn't even allow this boy to mm -hmm. play out there. Yeah. So he goes. Mm. As he's coming, these guys are like, there is a the dream. It is not him. It's not him. He was a young man. When he has a dream, he shares it. <laughs> 
he was young. He was young. He didn't have the wisdom of not sharing everything that you know mm. or everything that happened to you. You don't go and share it. He was a young man. He was 12. When mm. you have a dream, you want to share or 13 or 15. Yeah. You, you want to, to share the it whole with world. people. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. That's the nature of a 15 year or 13 year old. Mm. Yeah. So he goes and shares his dream because he's also scared. I saw this happen. He doesn't understand what it means. And that cost him his life. Man. Because he shows up, he's been sent by his father. He mm. should have disobeyed, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> no. So he's called by, his brothers grab him, they throw him into a cistern. Mm. Thank God there was no water in that cistern. This is mm. true. And it yeah. is by the grace of God that that cistern had no water. Because literally, when they were throwing him in, mm. they didn't throw they a did stone in no, fast to see yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> long drop. Yeah, message received. That is message received. What? Yeah, you know, they didn't throw to check is there water and how much water is here. Mm -hmm. They just threw the guy down. Can you imagine if that, was a, that well had not been dry? But because the Lord knows that this breaking process will not kill you. Ah! Ah! Hey, you know, Rev, they say a man without a vision is a man without a future. Mm -hmm. And a man without a future is a man who's always going to go back to his past. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of people listening this morning yeah. who believe that they, they, they need to break away from what has been holding them down. Because if they don't, they're going to go back to their past. Mm -hmm. Now, your reference point to where you got today may not necessarily take you to where you want to be tomorrow. Right. And this is because of the character development we're talking about. Just got off the phone with a young girl called Tina mm -hmm. and uh, her mom called her out because of, of, of a situation. Mm -hmm between her and her mom and she says I mean it hurt and, and, and that's character development right there and, and Tina don't worry like, like this Tina you'll be great and even greater but, but, we, but I'm wondering can, can you be broken for somebody L let me answer your question in this sense mm -hmm. All right. how does someone who's not broken look like Zaza. they're selfish Ye. immature full of themselves and caring and quite vulgar where did they learn this from because they've now been broken you see human beings at default mm -hmm. we are defective at default at default mm -hmm. a full whole and broken human being is actually of no consequence and of no value it to is who? through to themselves and to the rest of the world until they're broken. Yes. You know, when, when scripture says, it is no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in, in me. me. Mm. When you're just full of yourself, mm. you're actually a detriment to yourself. You're actually at, you are a risk to everyone. Mm. You literally add no value. value. Except to the part where it says, the ability to love the unlovable, because you are unlovable. <laughs> That's the only... <laughs> opportunity on that idea because the lord is teaching us how to love you because mm. you are unlovable because you're full of themselves mm. you see we exist for others we exist, we exist for, others. for service right it's important for you to remember whether you're born again or not at this point mm -hmm. whatever you do you do it for another you go to school to learn to be a doctor not to treat yourself no to treat others shillings and cents is neither here nor there mm. Mm. Because you can make money even without being a doctor. And it, had, it doesn't take brains to make money. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and somebody might say, oh, okay, let's see. But sa let me tell you something. When you go out there mm -hmm. and see some of the wealthiest people in the world, mm. they are not the professors. Mm -hmm. Or the deadliest. Exactly. Mm. They, they went into service. They provided a service and by the grace of God and the favor of God, yeah. they can't even explain how they got there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It is by the sheer grace of God. The Bible says that I give you the ability to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever you do, you go to school and sweat and endure for, is for the service of others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember that. It's right. never for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a pilot so that you will fly people. It's a service to humanity. Wow. It's not an end to itself. Mm -mm. Yeah, whatever it is, a movie star is to entertain the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are here so that you can reach the people. Mm. The Lord has called me. All of us are called of God mm -hmm. to fulfill a service to humanity. Mm -hmm. Whether mm -hmm. we do it 
uh, solidio gloria mm -hmm. for the glory of yes, god yes yeah come on eh? that's now another thing right. correct right. exactly yeah. But the truth is, yes. it is a service to others. Um, you remember we talked about ROG Sako. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, ROG Sako, mm -hmm. every month, we have a service for the entire Sako at wow. River of God Church. Wow. Well done. So all of them yes. come the last Sunday of the month mm -hmm. at 2. We have a Sako for all of them. Yes. Everyone including the buses themselves they all come to church and we have a two hour service mm -hmm. and in that service we normally share with everyone mm -hmm. and remind them that when you're a matatu driver mm -hmm. it is important for you to remember that not just this economy right but god is dependent on you right because someone wakes up in the morning mm -hmm. and they want to go to hospital yeah. They are praying that God get me to hospital. They don't mm -hmm. have a car. Yes. It is you who will transport mm -hmm. that person to town. That's right. Now you have 33 people in that matatu. Yeah. All of them going to fulfill a mandate that God has called them to. Come Without on. you, they wouldn't move. Come on. Now. So you have such an important role in society. Mm -hmm. Right. Transporting these people. So when you're driving that matatu, remember, you're driving 33 dreams. Mm. You're driving 33 prayer requests. That's right. You are driving 33 generations. Wow. Drive them with honor. Come on now. Beba ao watu na eshima. Usi ovalapu wapandishe pavement. Yeah. Come on. Umuwarukisha. Yes. Wakitaka kushuka. Mze kupanda. Yes. Kupopote. Eh. Kupopote. Eh. Unawashukisha ki madharao madharao. Yes. Eh. You know. Mm. As in, si mama mm -hmm. washukishe. Because mm -hmm. that life that unacheza nayo, that's a dream. That's, that's, a, that's a prayer. A dream. Mm. That's, that's a, a prayer. prayer request. Oh, right there. As in, mm. go, uyo mtu wa meambia God na mm. enda after job. Yes. Mm -hmm. God ni lead. God anam lead. Mm. Na wewe ni part of that prayer uki janali pray. Yes. Yes. Because when you membeba kuenda iyo, na labda hame kuja kwa ma three. Yeah. Ma three ni seventy, na oh, yuko na fifty bob. Kwa hivyo wewe makanga na kuja nkwambia ni aje, Mazeni kona 50. As a tout, you have the power to fulfill that dream and that prayer. Oh, yes. come on now. Umuambie mzee, leta yu 50 yu mbao ni sawa. Na ume transport your dream to town. And that prayer was fulfilled because you forfeited 20 bob. So you are literally, uyo makanga, you are, God is in debt of you. Ah, wow. I never seen it this way. Never. You know what I'm saying? God owes you. Because that prayer was fulfilled because you, as a tout, oh, yeah. they accepted yes. fare on that road is 70 bob. Mm. Legally. Legally. But who boys, mm -hmm. you can afford 40 bob. So legally, he shouldn't be on that matter. Mm -hmm. yes. But anakuja na kuitakana kushu mjama, mm -hmm. najuani rush, mm -hmm. lakini kuna 40 bob na naenda interview. Mm -hmm. Unambia ukijana, mm -hmm. tuende na goda kuge hiyo job. Pata hiyo job. Uh, you're 30 bob, ah. I always find you my three smart. Right, right. You, so, where we, where we tout, or as the mm. society would call you, yes, Makanga, it's mm. derogatory mm. to society when you Makanga, mm. Mm. but in the eyes of God, Mazi God and mm. Aku 30 bob, now God Arudisha give you, God at Tajakuge Mathriako, pass. Wait, wait, wait. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Because uh, he does more than you could ever think. Oh, more. imagine. So as a matatu tout, mm. carry yourself with such respect. Because mm. maze wewe na ule bank teller ni the same. Muna fulfill purpose. Yes. Ya God on earth. Come on. Come on. But maze jo ukiwana vile ka bank teller kame, kame sumama kwa stage na mm. wana makanga. You can mm. tell uni makanga na uni wa bank. Mm. Ni vile unajibeba. Ju wewe ueshimu job yako. Yes. Yes, without you, who you tell at the job, wewe, ndiyo God you to mia, kusafirisha watu elfu moja, ama mia nane, a whole day, to realize their dream and their vision. So that's how you're broken for somebody. Ndiyo ukwe MD, wa safariko, ulipanda mathiri one day, as a young man. This is true. Sindiyo? Mm-hmm. Na kama unge panda yu mathri mm -hmm. kuenda gakule mm -hmm. na kuenda jobi yako ya fast. Somebody carried you to your dream. 
mpaka siku ile utajabaidinga hmm. ucha lini ni muhimu sana lakini yeye onagi yeye ni muhimu yeye realize yeye na fufu papa si god kuna msa anasikiza someone is listening right now anafikiri anga mimi kazi yangu ni kumekutuma ndunya atiwasi wapitie tu hapa asubuhi wa kule mm. mandazi ma, yeah. ma KDF kumbe and they are feeling so insignificant yes and they are feeling like lord why can't i be like them be faithful na hizo mandunya mhm wazi cause maze huyu mtu aisy afford serena aisy afford anywhere else in fact yep. they can't even afford bread at home mm. but hiyo ten bob cuz cuz ya tuuzi wangu ya half bread mm. hiyo ten bob atabai hiyo ndunya ataenda akisosi akiambia god asante yani yuto kwa hawa akijua kama ule mother atakuwa na uza ndunya leo na fast wow na kuna school ikitokea ukaambia mama maze sina yeye leo lakini kesho nikilipo nda kuletea yeah. anakuambia kijana kula mbili mmoja nimekununulia hiyo nyingine yani huo boys akienda fever ya god imewacha imebaki kwa huo mother <laughs> eh, na wewe fanya for such a time as this on, i am now. fulfilling the purpose hey, of god and let me tell you something son, why yeah. brokenness yes yes and character development that is in the hands of god yeah when the lord is developing you yes it's for a season right it's not forever Mm-mm. but it hurts like crazy it if does. you go back to joseph it mm. does. god knew wakimrusha kwa system hata joseph mwenyewe as he was going back down that shaft mm. he knew this is it he knew he's going to drown mm. but god had because okay, the purposes of god is for you to rule the world one day mm-hmm. he made sure that this system had right mm-hmm. and it was abandoned mm. so the lord knew so ukifika pale chini baba ah au kuvunjika miguu na ikuwa na maji mm. ama labda ilikuwa na matope ndio kusabu kuvunjika miguu lakini yakukuwa na maji mm. Mm. alafu at that opportune time there were traders from the middle east to egypt correct, mm. correct. To, to africa yes yeah. eh, so they are going back to africa these guys decide you know what ah uh, ruben to see you boys mm. wacha tumuuze mm. mm. tumange mm. mm. wakamuuza God mkuna mtu mmoja hapo anapenda do mm-hmm. I said eh hey, si hapa tunaweza tengeza nmunde kinda wakamkinda akaenda Egypt I want you to imagine every step of the way yeah every step Joseph took away it? from the yeah. Middle East towards yeah. Egypt hmm. looking behind and seeing the faces of their brothers ebu niambie huo boys alikuwa amevunjika roho aje there was nothing left mm-hmm. in him of him he couldn't even see god maze these are my brothers bana nika boys kadogo ako ndio last boy mm. now wameka kinda na acha lini maheta mm. Mm. they are heartless ani mamadara mm. wakakula mbuzi ya fadhake na damu wakaeka kwa ile koti mm. ule mzae alikuwa analia damu ya mbuzi yake akifikira ni mtoto wake eh and they said nothing the mother died of a broken heart never knowing where her son, son was yeah now boys wako tu na wamekaza but you see with all that hit mm-hmm. with all that stuff that is going on in your life where you're feeling like maze god uko mm-hmm. marriage me fail vitu zimegongwa mm-hmm. umefungwa mm-hmm. watu wa ma- yani you know life can throw you a curveball that's true maze we ni msiku mafungiwa hao maze ubgetiki job nini unashanga god wo kuwa na kama wo kuwa wo sikia mtu akipray aje mm-hmm. ndio wo sikia yeah Unanirasada. Alafu mm. unasikia pasi mwingine hapa anasema oh broken altar sijui nini nini bring a sacrificial offering sijui nini. Mm-hmm. Uona peleka munde uko kumbe uko kwa uko kwa pipeline God anaku break na anaku mold. Wow. For a greater purpose. Pasi I see something here. Jose mm. akafika Egypt. Mm-hmm. Sasa he is no longer the loved son. Mm-hmm. Kara jina ishabadilika. Mm-hmm. You're no longer a son. Mm. You're a slave. Both start with S. A son But, and a slave. Eh, he began as a son. Now he's a slave. And a slave has no rights. A slave has no rights. Eh, a son? Mm-hmm. A slave? And now <laughs> you're a prisoner. Now mm-hmm. prisoners in those days did have rights. Remember they are dungeons. Right. They are not toilets, there is no lighting. Mm-mm. It is not for human beings. They are not putting you there so that you shall live and come out. <laughs> They are putting you there to die. Mhm. 
So you're pooping there, it's Egypt, it's hot, so you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. And then when he's there, just a glimpse of hope, the baker and the cabera come. And he tells the cabera, Mazejo, as you're putting the cup in Pharaoh's hand, <laughs> remember me. And for two years, he forgot. Mm-hmm. So hope, Maze. So at this point, he's still being broken because God has a purpose for him that is greater than himself. He would literally feed the entire known world. And God could not afford for Joseph to be full of himself mm. or full of revenge. Remember, even when he was made prime minister, he never went back home. <laughs> this is true. Mm. He people, never yeah. thought See, of going go home. Yeah. Now, you're in power. Yeah, because they talk. Chukua chariot no man. Hey, and how? Check in your gems. I bado you come. I bado you come. What's going on? This man was so broken that he had forgotten home. So broken. You see, let me tell you something, Janko. God doesn't trust you. He trusts his process. Mm. And his process is not time bound. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> so where we unataka kwa broken for a year or for two. Mm. Then so, so Rev, what you're saying, if, if you're saying it, it, it's not uh, in a time, that means I'm being broken for assignment. Yes. You're being broken for assignment for a people, for a place, for a <laughs> race. Whatever Jesus it is. was alive for 30 years. Correct. And then served for three. Yes. Mm-hmm. Joseph, as in yeah, <laughs> Moses was broken for 40 years. So that ile prince kwanza is 40 years. He was bleeding like a sheep. <laughs> and then his assignment. <sighs> Ha, you see, you ha. live for your assignment. Go, remember, all of us, mm. wherever we are, whoever we are, born again or not, the Lord, the Lord's purposes is that we shall serve humanity mm. in whatever capacity. Yeah. Uh, so, moja takuwa prezi. Yeah. Mungina takuwa nani. But all of us are fulfilling the purposes. And mm-hmm. we shall be judged on the basis of, as president, what did you do? Mm. As a nanny, mm-hmm. shaping that boy who will become the president, what did you do? Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, it is us who get in a hurry mm-hmm. through that process. Number one, you can't get yourself out of a brokenness situation. Mm-hmm. You try to jump, it's from the frying pan into the, to fire. the fire. Yeah. That's what will happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sarah got impatient on the yep. 10th year. Remember, it yep. was 25 years. Mm-hmm. Abraham was 75. Yes. The boy was to be, Isaac was to be born at 100. God is not in a hurry. Sarah brings Hagar mm-hmm. to her husband. Can you imagine how desperate she must have been? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For a woman to give a house girl to the husband. Mm-hmm. Eh, so, Kabebi Kamezaliwa, mm-hmm. Isaac Kamezaliwa, mm-hmm. uh, Ishmael Kamezaliwa. Mm-hmm. God is not in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Even after Ishmael is born, God still waited another 15 years. That's what I'm telling you. Where when you kona haraka ya kutoka kwa situation, God is not. And he wouldn't change it because you're in a hurry. Right. No. It is the Lord. It is the Lord who knows how deep he wants to break you. And mm-hmm. the Lord wants to break you so deep, mm-hmm. so hard, so long, that when your brothers show up in Egypt, he won't kill them. That they will be safe that his purposes are safe Mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. So he's so broken that when the brothers came, all he could do was cry. And then negotiate for them to be given the choicest place in Egypt, Goshen. Mm -hmm. The guys who sold him into slavery, the guys who made him go to prison. When you think, critically think of what Joseph went through, Mm -hmm. and then the brothers show up. And he didn't revenge. Yet we have churches today that the pastor shamelessly every Sunday to kanyage aduizetu to amalize to ateketeze na moto. Which scriptures are you reading? <laughs> the scripture says, "Love your enemies." Mze, Old Testament isha andikuwa. Fungua makaratasi, fungua kurasa. You are stuck in the old, even in the old. Joseph didn't wonder, Maze, God, these are the guys who sold me. How come you're not striking them with lightning? Mm. How come you're, you're not killing them? 
Mm-hmm. So instead of Joseph killing the brothers who sold him, mm-hmm. he negotiated for them to be given the choicest place, place. Goshen, mm-hmm. with their kids and their families. Wow. Because he was so broken, there was not, he none didn't of, hold a grudge. Mm, there was nothing about Those are he human left. characteristics. Yes. But God had broken humanity out, out of, of him. him. We are Pal Radio 96.9, <laughs> the station that's the home of fresh and classic hits. That's right. With Tin and Zuki. Danko Talaku. Pastor Tony Kiyama. There Fantastic. you go. Reverend Tony Kiyama of right. Red River of God. Where? From, uh, what I need to... Uh, to remind me, it's, oh, it's, it's 10 a, o'clock? From yeah. 10 o'clock to 10.30. Now, yes. today Pal Play starts a little bit... Oh, that's the camera. Yeah. Today Pal Play <laughs> starts a little bit late, uh, yeah. starts at 10.30. Why? Because between 10 and 10.30... Come on now. Courtesy of Ecclesia Kenya. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Ecclesia Africa. Africa. Dot O-R-G. Dot O-R-G. Yeah. We're going to be having fantastic, uh, you know, uh, parables, prophecies, and, and a very nice, uh, uh, you know, Teaching. teachings mm-hmm. uh, that are happening between that courtesy of the late. RC Pro. Yeah, you you, you want to join us at that time. Yes. So, uh, Pearl Play, don't worry, Pearl Play is still on. Yes. Uh, but from 10.30, Miss Yvonne is going to be here at 10.30 30. today. Right. But we're going to start off with Ecclesia, yes. Africa.org. Right. And they'd like you to join them today as we start off as a, with the parables of Jesus taught to us by the late RC mm-hmm. Sprawl. Uh, you're going to have a great time. Passy, mm-hmm. Brick. Bonus for <laughs> you. You got comments coming in. People are now viewing brokenness completely yeah, different. different. They didn't have this knowledge. So, so not a revelation. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think God w- w- when, when you realize that the Lord created you for a purpose, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and the purpose is to serve humanity, is to serve, to serve others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we, we are. And the Lord. You do your part. Correct. You go to school. Mm-hmm. You prepare yourself. Mm-hmm. You study medicine, you engineering, mm-hmm. secretarial, whatever it is, mm-hmm. uh, plumbing, Ba-bye. carpentry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, w- th- you do for yourself. Yes. You know, negative, I mean, positive character development. development. Mm-hmm. Correct. So you do all that. Mm-hmm. And then you get to the place now where, mm-hmm. you know, moral issues. Uh, you want to be kind. Mm-hmm. You want to not sleep around. You know, just uh, there are moral things Correct. Mm-hmm. That, Correct. that you do. You know, ethical mm-hmm. things that you do. Yes. Um, and that's good because you do for yourself. You do for yourself. But then Kuna. there is something in you that the Lord needs to remove so that He can use you. <laughs> yes, you are a doctor. Yes, you are a radio presenter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good evening. And, and you have skills. Mm-hmm. Yes. But those ones you have gotten for yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. But there's something in you that the Lord needs to break so that he can use you. You've done your part. Mm-hmm. You will still be a doctor. You'll mm-hmm. still be a radio presenter. Mm-hmm. But when you're broken and prepared by the Lord, then you won't just be a radio presenter. Right. Mm-hmm. But you'll be a radio presenter who's dependent on God. Not in your own skill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. anyway, kuna sauna za present, wewe ni mdeadly. Na unajua watu kusikiza wewe ju wewe ni mdeadly. Mm-hmm. Lakini kuna saa, when you're seated there, mm-hmm. your ear is to the spirit of the Lord. That's Even right. when it doesn't sound like this is really the thing we mm-hmm. need to talk about, mm-hmm. you're subject to him. Mm-hmm. Because there is one person today yes. who the Lord will speak to and the Lord will change their life. All right. Wow. Yeah. For that, mm. the Lord doesn't take chances. The Lord doesn't take chances? No. He doesn't. So he w- we say God is a gentleman. He, he will he take d- me through character g- development without my... Gently breaking you. No, without <laughs> my, my condition. Without, There's w- no consent. Whether, uh, he, yeah. he, he, removes, he removes the carpet under your feet. He. Reverend Tony Lynn wants to know from you, in, in that season where the broken is happening, Yes. What, what do you do? Because she feels like hope is gone, faith is shaken, mm-hmm. and she wants to check out. <coughs> you live a day at a time. Mm-hmm. You live a day at a time. Mm-hmm. A day at a time, when your focus is in God. Mm. Psalm 121, I lift my eyes to the hills, where when does my help come from? from? Mm-hmm. My help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. Mm-hmm. He who watches over you, not does not slumber. slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel does neither not sleep. sleep, slumber, no, no sleep, nor sleep. sleep. The Lord watches over your life. He's your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, mm. nor the moon by, by night. night. 
you you said we can't choose how to be broken you can't so wow. it's in that situation that you are you still continue praising the lord that you believe your hope is in god you're believing it's not hope that i will get out of this is that <laughs> my hope yeah. is in god because mm-hmm. you you can't even try to make sense of it no yeah it's just mm-hmm. you live a day at a time god thank you for today mm-hmm. thank you that i woke up mm-hmm. Thank you that I came home today. Father, thank you. My car was auctioned, but I know that I can afford to take a matatu. Wow. wow. Father, I don't know how to explain what I'm going through, That's but I know too. that you are still God. A few years ago, mm. I just got an employed mm. at, at International Christian Center at ICC, which mm. is also a, a still an Assemblies of God, Kenya mm-hmm. Assemblies of God congregation. Mm-hmm. As a youth pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. Mm-hmm. A youth pastor, I'm full of life. Mm-hmm. Maze, I'm getting into the ministry. Mm-hmm. Ni Bible school. Mm-hmm. Ni wife yellow, yellow. And you're not mm-hmm. speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You get job, Maze. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly one year later, after my first anniversary, I got sick. I started losing function of my right leg. I was in Hosi for four months. What? But the whole ordeal took 10 months with two surgeries, one in Kenya and the other one in India. By the time I was coming home, I remember the doctor told me as I left India, mm. Andhra Pradesh in India, mm. the doctor told me, mm. there is nothing more that medicine can do for you. No way. As in you have too much scar tissue, there's nothing more we can do. You have a degenerative disc disorder. Mm. As in it will get worse and there's nothing we can do. So in my head I thought, mm-hmm. Yeni, I'll be in a wheelchair. I don't even have a son to my name. Mm. As in Maze God, I am born again. Mm. I am serving you. You, you are supposed to protect Protect me me from the element. (laughs) 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 Niaji. What's going on? When you go to the garden, you must do something. You must do something. You must do something. Mtu rudia tanks mara ngapi? Leke boko ntaraka shanda shanda. God already niko 1 GB. Niki fast kuliko hapa sasa si niku come. Mm. <laughs> Naenda na home. Na come. Yes, hey, na come. Here yeah. I am. Yeah. Eh, hey, as in God, unataka nikuambie aje. Ushaona ule jamaa uambia God. God Nimerarukiwa unafungulia God wallet. Yeah. Ona, yeah. juu najaribu kuambia na naona object lesson. <laughs> so it's in that sense. Mm-hmm. You I I I as in I'm sick, there's nothing more I can do. Mm-hmm. And I come home and I remember my wife tells me, whose report shall you believe? Ooh. Yeah. Thank you Pastor Carol. Come on now. And I decided, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let me live life. Mm-hmm. Let me do what I can do on mm. my own. Mm. So I decide. I start swimming. I swim. I used to swim, and I have a friend of mine. He's called George Nuth, Pastor George Nuth. So yeah. we used to swim yeah, together. Pastor George Nuth, yeah, we know him. Yeah, so we used to swim together, yeah. Yeah. and he would go to swim with me because Maze and yes, could swim alone. Yeah. So this brother came and stood with me for two years. We used to swim three or four times a week, and he would come with me. Mm. After two years, to catch hmm? and life went on. 17 years later, ile condition ni karudi. Worse than the first time. Mm. 2017, niliko nasikia ni kanda die. I come back home. And now I have three surgeries on my back. As in, it is weaker than it was before. Mm. And then there's an opportunity for us to go to Rwanda. Mm-hmm. So the church gives me a ticket. Here is your ticket to go to Rwanda. Me, I'm like, no, I want to go with my family. Mm. I want my kids to come to Rwanda and see Rwanda. An experience, yeah. Exactly. So I decide, my wife tells me, whose report shall you believe? I'm like, to a Gary Petroli, that's a money. We go to Rwanda. So mm. we went to Rwanda, two days on the road, and we had a ball. And I would have lived with the fear of the fact that, you know what? I have a week back. I have this, I have yeah. that. Oh, I can live life for as long as I can, Yeah. for as long as my back can handle. Mm. Mm. So for those 17 years, me, I've lived life. I've driven to Rwanda several times. I've driven to UG maybe four or five times. Mm. I've gone to um, to Dar es Salaam by road with my kids. Uh, we are always on the road. We like road trips. My mm-hmm. kids would never have had that for mm. the last 17 years. Mm. If I was like, you know what? I have a broken back. I won't do this. Mm-hmm. So in that situation that you are in, you serve God the best that you, you are- can with the opportunities that, that you, you have. have. Blessing him and knowing that even here it is he who sustains 
me. Even here. Even here. Uh, even the little I have now. Thank God. Because it would have been worse. You know, when you're broken, mm. you have room for others. Mm. You become a vessel of grace. Mm. Mm. And if you have never had a toothache, you would not understand how it feels to have one. Mm. Mm. If you've never been hungry, mm. as in there is nothing to eat, when somebody asks you for money, then you would, you know, both of us would be here. Somebody mm. comes and says, Maze, I need money for school fees. How much mm. do you need? Mm. 50,000 shillings. Mm. Mm. The other guy just tells him, I, shikatha umbili, and But there's another who, yeah. because they've been there, yeah. they'll sacrifice their rent mm -hmm. for, for you to go to school mm. because they've been there. You see, they are broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. A broken vessel flows out life. Mm. They don't beat their chest. They fulfill the purpose to which they are, are cold. cold. Yeah. Now, critical things to remember here. Mm. Number one, you never see it come. Mm -hmm. no. You can't tell that <laughs> the Lord will start <laughs> breaking me Next Monday month. the 15th. At 10.55 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in retrospect, yes. you can tell mm. this is when it began. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. When the mud hit the fan. Exactly. And you felt exactly. like that's when you were swept by the wild wind. <sighs> You are doing fine, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, Allah, mm. number two, you never apply for it. <laughs> because all God right. is sovereign, he picks whoever he picks. Yes. All right. Yeah. Why Moses? Why Joseph? Mm. There were 10 sons. Why Joseph? Yeah. Yeah. Why Joseph? Why David? Exactly. Why you, Danko? Why me? Yeah. And things, and then, mm. number three, it's important to remember that through the broken situation, mm. bro a season of brokenness, mm. he removes you from the public. He removes you from the public? It's, it's between you and, and him. He yeah. isolates you. Is that what you're Remember, saying? birds of a feather flock together. Yes. Yeah. So when it's was Subaru, so chances are you'll hang out with the Subaru <laughs> the, guy. The Subaru clique. My boys, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. the uh -huh. clubs you go to, the places you go to, mm -hmm. Kule mm -hmm. But Sasa, mm -hmm. Mzee, mm -hmm. Eh, so ata story za Subaru unaga ata ulitokaga kwa website mm. juu sasa <laughs> ata WhatsApp group ya Forester Nation ukatoka eh, huko mm. sasa mzee ata mafea hauna mm. eh, umerudi kwa mother yes umerudi yoshago eh, eh, eh. juu kimefiamba hmm. it's true you are a graduate yep. you have a master's degree mm -hmm. but you can't afford your rent in the city mm -hmm. yeah now you have to temporarily move back to the village because God is changing your environment and wow. he wants those guys wow. to forget you. <gasps> hey. He wants those guys to forget me. Yeah. They won't even Nikana? call you. Well, it's how. Yeah, yeah. They no longer call you. Simu zao ziliisha, waka change simu 5 years ago, hata wakapoteza namba. Yes. Jua ta wewe simu ilichapa. Squeeze you out umia kabambe ulihandiwa down na madhako. All right. In the village. Yes. As in, mud hit the fan. And you get into situations, maze mbaka you under God. This is true. As in, maze. How? But remember, the deeper the breaking, the higher they yeah. will take you. The deeper the breaking. Yeah. Hmm. And number two, you can't say, you know what, I will be in this situation for five years, for three years. Mm -mm. I don't know mm -mm. how long. I just know that, you know what, God this doesn't make sense mm. it might be the brokenness might be actually out of your own mistake mm -hmm. it might be out of your own doing mm -hmm. yeah but however it came the lord is at work in you wow. whether he's doing it because he's punishing you mm -hmm. for sin that you lived but mm -hmm. when you get out of it you will become a new creature mm. Yeah, that you will never go back to that sin and he has delivered you. Because we are all sinners saved by grace. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why I went through, I made those mistakes, maybe it's just immaturity. Mm. Correct. Yeah. 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 Not, it was my upbringing and I'm mm. not, you know, blaming somebody else, shifting <laughs> blame. But whatever the situation, here mm. I am, the Lord is working on me. Mm. It's important for me to remember that the Lord has called me for such a time as this. And all things work together for good for those who love God and call according to his purpose. Mm. And I will fulfill his purposes because his purposes are greater. Mm -hmm. And his purpose will be fulfilled. And he's the one who chooses. I don't choose. Mm. 
So you can't read a book to understand because nope. your story is different from Miles Munro mm. and mm. Billy Graham. You have a story on your own. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mazea, I was jobless. Ah, nene, nene. Mine, the season lasted two years mm -hmm. because I have these five principles. Mm -hmm. So you go and try and implement those five principles. Mm -hmm. From day one to day ten. Yeah. Ten steps to becoming a billionaire. Exactly. <laughs> and yet, eh, every time I have sat with people who are super wealthy, I've sat with them and I want to find out at what point they didn't see it come. When Zuckerberg in his mother's basement was mm -hmm. drawing that thing how many other young people came up with apps mm. many but the lord chose this one chose this one the lord yeah yep why this one and not the other one and not mm -hmm. he was not the only guy maybe he wasn't even the guy who was the deadliest in jerry where i grew up everybody mm. played soccer and the guys who are who played the national team one of the guys who stood out mm -mm. Our aqua got around you were normal. Team time. Your team, eh? Kuna ma boys who aqua got you sorry. Eh? But they didn't make it there. They didn't. By no. the grace of God, God chose this one. Akaenda uko katwa kiburi. Akajipiga kifua. Uko chambele. Kisi me kakauka. Awa kirudi ukumze wa me pararamba. Kama toka suyimo na udaji paka mafuta. Do from pararo. Because you forgot that yeah. the Lord took you there for a purpose and for a season. Yes. Yeah. But, Reverend, and most of us forget. Mm. Yeah. When, when someone forgets that God has broken them, do, does God remind you? He's done. Siyata kuchomo na lift mungi ne. So we have to stay remembering we've been broken. Forgetting is sin. Forgetting is sin. Is sin. Jesus, God told them, when you cross over and you plant this and you do this and you plant vineyards and right. you, don't forget. He said, do not forget. forget. And they did. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Another generation Joshua. arose. Yeah. That, that knew not. not. Knew not. Not God. But <laughs> they had forgotten. They, they knew not what he had done. Mm. So Akina Joshua, they, for, they stopped telling the stories of mm. God's greatness. They forgot the Dead Sea crossing. I mean, the Red Sea, mm, yes. the Jordan, yes. the Mana. There arose another generation. Not a hundred years ago, because mm -mm. Joshua was already an adult mm -hmm. when he saw those things. They, f they stopped telling the story of man, water from a rock, the annihilation of the entire Egyptian army in mm. front of their own eyes. They stopped telling those the stories. Story. Those stories became common. Mm. Mm -hmm. the, the miracles in your life, when they become common, mm -hmm. the day it becomes common, you have mm -hmm. forgotten where the Lord brought you from. And I know there are people listening to me right now. Right. Who must say, you remember sitting on that interview room. Mm -hmm. And there are 10 or 15 other people. Yeah. Ahead of you. But God gave you the yep. job. Yep. That miracle in itself, the fact that you are the guy mm -hmm. who got that job. Mm -hmm. And 10 years later, you have forgotten that little miracle that made the difference. That if you didn't get that job that day, you'd have been like your cousin who's still in the <clears> village. <throat> yes. That was the that was a turning point for you. The fact that you got that job that you didn't deserve. The mm. other guys were more qualified, mm. but and for the grace favor. of God, mm. you got it, and you forgot. Cabrera, Cabrera sings a song saying, "Sikuwa na kitu kabla ni kujue, ona sasa umeni bariki kiburi chani ingi amini." Now let me tell you something. Many people forget. They forget when they get money. Ukokogari unapigia watu honi. Never forget. Tarira. Toka. Na usha wa inotis. Watu wa wangura wapigagi honi. Akina zizi. Una humble. Ukisikia ni mahoni uko. Ni mafiyeita. Ama gari mu. Gari muenda. This eh, is true story. <laughs> ni wapi unaenda haraka gani? Eh. Uwa esi already. Tulia mse. <laughs> You can afford to be late. Yes. Yes. Eh, you know? Oh, you get what good I'm saying? Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, mm. 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 Anashukisha wife. Mm -hmm. Kenyatta Avenue. Na unaona, amesimama, amekuwekea hazard, mbaka kainuwa mkono, mm -hmm. ndiyo wife ashuke. 
na waifa amesahau kitu amerudia unampigia honi <laughs> seriously mm. unampigia honi ni du niangusha wife ni wache mtu hui umeona mtu huyu amenisimamisha ni jioni nimesimama kwa bastop mm-hmm. hivi ba, stage imejaa mm-hmm. nimesimama mm-hmm. hapo mbele mm-hmm. mtu huyu aingia unamuona na uniform mm-hmm. ni watu hiyo wili wanaingia kwa gari unanipigia honi watu huyu waruke ama wapande juu ya boot <laughs> ama wadandie gidinge ikienda mm-hmm. unanipigia honi ndio nini nyenyekea mzee goda shakuinua nyenyekea hey. nyenyekea ndugu nyenyekea Eh kule ulitoka unaweza rudi. Mm, eh, very true guy. Mm. Very true. Eh, humble yourself in the Lord. Humble yourself. But, but when you're not well, broken, well, yeah. you're full of yourself ndio utapigia watu mahoni. Mm. Eh. Where, where I come from the pastor says don't sweat the small stuff. Mm. Don't Bonas sweat the small stuff. Mm. But uh, this is a good song. The Kama Gera song by Timam. Yes. Just takes you to the place where you're supposed to be I, but right now uh, rev there are people that are broken and and uh, they have understood what you've said they've heard but, but they're going to need a little bit more of encouragement so so if you would say a prayer for them mm-hmm. that that'll be so cool right. so so we can I, I don't know if you've heard everything that Rev has said but this session is going to be up on our YouTube page yeah. and yes and he's going to be back yeah we're bringing him back yes. yeah. yeah he's he yani he's coming back right. uh, this is a good mm-hmm. reminder this is how God tends to remind us his children world is broken and it's not of our own he yeah Woo! so How how about that prayer right right about now? Mm. <laughs> yeah. But Father in the name of Jesus, mm. we thank you for mm. grace and the opportunity to serve. Mm. I know mighty God that you in the process of developing mm. and preparing for a greater purpose, greater than ourselves. Mm. I pray mighty God that in every situation we yes. shall give thanks. Yes, Lord. Mm. In every situation we shall know mm. that you are God mm-hmm. in it. Mm. That you are with us almighty oh God that you will carry us through. Yes. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your grace, your mercy, mm. and your love will sustain us mm. as we lift our eyes to the hills mm. because we know that you are God, mm-hmm. you are good, mm. and you're on our side. And even if where we are, it's out of our own making, yes. 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 we know that God, you will forgive, mm. you will restore. And Lord, even when we are ridiculed yeah. and laughed at, forgotten and rejected. Yes. We know that our God will love us. Oh yeah. yeah. God will be on our side. Come on now. Mm. God will never forget. Mm. No, he won't. And your grace will reach out to us mm. because your hands that are full of holes, mm. Lord, will embrace us, oh mighty Father, mm-hmm. because you have a big heart. Mm. God, you can use anything. Yes, Lord. Even yes. us. Mm. Thank you this morning. Mm. Encourage someone. Mm-hmm. Let us know that you have a plan. You have a plan, Almighty God. Any step away from the Middle East towards Egypt mm. is a step towards you and mm. your purpose. Yes. It might not look like it. Mm. From a son to a slave to a prisoner and then to a prime minister. Mm. 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 Oh God, mm. only you can do that. Only yes, Lord. God. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Join Tina and Zuki and Danko on Pearl in the Morning. Weekdays from 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m.